From Las Vegas, Sandy Castell and Friends. Hi, and good morning to Sandy Castell. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. This Thursday, June 26th on KLAV, 1230 AM. Michael. It's my dance day today. I get to go dance again. You know, and if you love to dance, you want to get into shape, you want to join me Tuesdays and Thursdays at Backstage Dance Studio for Angelo Moyo's jazz class. It's part of my staying fit and fabulous forever. Hi. Hey. How you doing, Roxy? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. This is Michelle, Michelle Roxy Davis. How you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. You look fabulous. You get, oh, thank you. You look fit and fabulous. Well, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Look at you. You've got what kind I of, had to, these, what kind of leggings are those? These are um, new summertime pants. These are really in with the whole, um, it's kind of like half skirt, then the rest is length with, uh, it's kind of like lace. They're very cool. So yes, it, it keeps you cool <laughs> and it's uh, it's very trendy right now. It's, it's a new summer trend that a lot of girls are wearing with skirts and pants. I just bought these, and I thought, what the hell? I'll just go well, ahead and... Well, for those of you who can't see them, they look like uh, fishnets with holes and squares I could, and... I could go know, dancing in these pants. Yeah, these are like cha-cha pants a little bit. And we've also got Mark Love here today. Hi, Mark. How are you? I'll let you know as soon as I wake up. <laughs> well, you know, you sat in with us last night at the West Wing Cigar Lounge with Chef Michael. He was playing drums with uh, David DaCosta and the Chad Michaels Quartet. Good fabulous, morning, Michael. Fabulous music. Are you awake? Yeah, Are you really. awake? You're too quiet. You're too, too quiet. What's I'm the matter? Just listening. What's the matter? Nothing. What's the matter, you? We're losing Tim. <laughs> we're losing Tim. Well, okay. You're Tim, sad. Yeah, because he's leaving for a Friday, and what? I don't know who we're getting on the engineer. What? Well, you know, last week we had a, last night we had a great night over at the West Wing Cigar Lounge, and we had a lot of s people come and sit in, and Mark Love was one of them, and it was great to have you sit in and sing with the band, Mark. You sounded fabulous. Uh, it's always fun. Yeah, any any place you are, I like to be. <laughs> Thanks. Both, well, the both and, of you. And you sing a variety of music. You know, you sing uh, not just a rock and roll. You sing jazz. You sing pop. You sing all kinds of styles. I've had to learn to adapt in 50, 52 years on <laughs> yeah. stage. you got to do that. Uh. Yeah, well, it was good to have you there last night. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure, always. And also, we have in the showroom here today, the showroom. This is a showroom to us. Uh, we've got Don Usherson. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Sandy. You are filling in for Johnny Stewart, who's on the road this morning to Los Angeles. Yes, he is. In fact, he yeah. called me from the road and let me know how the traffic was. How was it? <laughs> Not as bad as on Sahara. <laughs> well, also... Also in the background, we have here with us Gene Woods. Hi, Gene. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. What are you doing sitting way back there? I know. I'm just, uh, well, come on, come on up here. We want you to join us. You know, I, I know this is Roxy's day. You know, but that's to shine. Okay. But that's okay. We can have you right up here with us. You know, of course your your chair's a little low, but that's, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, how's Gene Woods racing going? It's doing great. It's yeah? Doing great. Everybody's having a great time out there. Okay. Good. Good. Well, we uh, I know Chef Michael got a chance to ride in uh, one of the go karts there. I guess do you call them go karts? <laughs> Yeah. Are they really racing machines? They're actually racing go-karts, yeah. Yeah, that was fun. You had a good time, didn't you? Great time. <laughs> <laughs> a lot better time than he's having now, apparently. I guess, I this guess. This enthusiasm so is extremely <laughs> underwhelming this really, morning. It really I, is. <laughs> you know, Chef Michael, you know, last night you were just going wild at the drums. Yeah. So now, what happened today on your way to the radio show? I know you're dying to tell everybody out there, and they're all waiting to listen. <laughs> Tim left, I'm sad. <laughs> no, he hasn't left yet. He doesn't right leave there. until when? <laughs> when, Tim, are you leaving? Tomorrow? Whoa, 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 wait. You're supposed to give us a little more notice than that. And who's going to be taking your place? Uh, Ryan. Ryan. Oh, Ryan's great, too. This but guy's we're a soup really can. Gonna miss Forget you. about it. Is he a fighter, too? No. Oh, well, what are we going to talk about, then? He's a real smart kid. Oh, he's a smart kid. So we can talk about real smart things. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Educational, smart things. So now you're going to be fighting, yeah. boxing, August the 5th. Now, don't forget about us. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. You've got to come back and visit. Sandy, and, of course, we're we've got take Misha it. there, too. Hi, Misha. How are you? Hi. What, Don? Are we going to take a road trip down, all of us, and go down? I and think see we should. We down should down go the down Abbey? to Laughlin. Yes, I, at the uh, what Aria Hotel? Avi. Avi. Well, Aria. Avi. Oh, that's right. We have the Aria here. I yes. guess you know. It's a little it's different. It's a little longer drive. <laughs> so, Chef Michael, tell us what happened on your way to work because I know you always fill up your gas tank, even though it's got like you know it's it says full on the tank. You always have to fill it up. So, what happened today? I bought a brand new Chrysler. 2014, and, yeah. I, and I guess the little clip, I guess I can't put the gas in. So yesterday I put the nozzle in it, and I couldn't get the nozzle out. <laughs> <laughs> I 
it got. You know, I'm ready to kick somebody's ass. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, let me tell you something. I'm in a bad mood. So I says, I'm over there, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I could move. not get the nozzle out, and I finally pull it out. So this morning I get up, and I got an, a, a, an a phobia since I was a kid. My car's got to be clean, and they got to be gassed. To the, I'm telling you, Don, if, the, if the seat's on full, if it just moves an inch, I'm right in the station, and I pull it up. That's just how I am. Don't ask wow. me why. It's a weird. Roll. Yeah, it's not weird, and that's just one of my things. And anyway, I went this morning, and uh, I'm going to sound terrible saying this on the air, but, you know, you know I'm, I'm Italian. You know, there's days that sometimes I don't feel funny. Sometimes I'm a human being like everybody else out there. You get up, and sometimes you just don't feel good. Oh, my gosh. Don't ruin the facade, you know. Oh, well, guess what? I'm doing, I'm, guess what? So anyway, I go You're a performer, I, though, you know, and as all performers, Michael, you know yeah. the show always goes on. Yeah, yeah, sure. So anyway, uh, what happened is I go into the 7-Eleven. I get the gas at the Chevron station. I says, give me a, give me a $30 money order and give me, a, and give me a $10 in gas. The girl comes out. She says, here's your money order. She gave me a $10 money order. And, and I says, no, I don't want that. Well, let me get the manager. <laughs> now this guy comes out, this real another to doof. This guy comes in from the back. I know where they found this guy from. So he comes out and he says, can I help you? I says, yeah. I said, this is the situation over here. He said, well, how about if I give you, like, another $20 money order? You can put that. I was so aggravated, Tim. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, Italian people are funny. You know what I mean? I get a ravioli and throw it at you. I grabbed the thing or and I, I, grabbed the, I grabbed the money order and I, it was $10. I ripped it in half. <laughs> I said, I don't give a rat's ass about $10. Give me a $30 money order and $10 in gas. The guy stopped. I said, I don't care about $10. Throw it in the trash. Give me that and I got to get out of here. So I turn around and I get up. Now <laughs> I go outside. <laughs> And I can't stick the nozzle in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to put my fist through the window of the car. Oh. I said, oh I hope gosh. nobody says something because I want to put them in my meatball and grind them up. <laughs> <laughs> so I came in this morning, but we had a great time last night, and it was really a lot of fun. Mark Love was there, and Don Usherson, you know, good friends. And Sandy and I, we, 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 uh, we, we got a beautiful, we bought into the uh, cigar uh, lounge, which is phenomenal, the West Wing Cigar Lounge. And I put... One of my recipes on the menu. It was the uh, pasta la grasso for the grasso. Oh, yes. Grasso. They're out there. They're counting yes. their money right now. I'm son of a bitch. People and you actually so much had, money you had a special menu that was prepared by Amy. Yes, it was. It was she so said, adorable. And then we had the, our, one of our sponsors, which is the people from the Tuscany. Yes, the Tuscany The chef came Grill. down. I mean, that's a great honor for me. Like I said, you, Rindy Couture is your, is your trainer. But when you get a guy like that comes down, I'm going to tell you something. I don't eat cake. I don't, I'm a pie eater. I'm cannolis. They can have all that stuff. This kid made a cheesecake. Tim, listen to me. Serious stuff. I'd have married the guy. That's how good it was. But last night, Michael, yeah, he came and had the Chef Michael special, right. which was the chicken, limon, right? Or which, which, which chicken was it? It was uh, the chicken. No, it was the chicken cutlets. Okay. It's chicken Neapolitan. With Neapolitan. The yeah. You know, and, it's, and i got to tell you, folks, my grandmother made this, so I have to come up with a name. You know what I mean? Because today when you open these things, have you ever make like uh, the people say chicken la la colini? I say, what the hell's that? <laughs> so somebody must have made a name because me and Sandy were driving. You ever see the names like on streets? <laughs> Who comes up with these names? <laughs> I mean, think about it. What was that? Where did we, we drive, Sandy? And it was names. I said, where did they come up with these names at? They don't it put was them over in, in the Siena, and they're all Italian the names painter. because, you know, it's an Italian, you know, Siena. Well, at least in my right. neighborhood, you pass by, you had... You know, you had uh, John Gotti Avenue, then you yeah. had Al Capone Street, and then, you know, you had, uh, you, know, the, you know, you could read late. 12th and Moore Street, where Twelfth you and Moore, used to hang when out. When I used to hang out. I used <laughs> to hang out. We had well, the, Meyer Lansky Lane. Watching all the time. Meyer time Lansky Lane. See the Jews, always got to throw something in there, Don. You know, I love you. People say you always, well, then we had somebody, we left to him, somebody came in, which was nice. The guy came in, he might be listening. And he says, uh, you told me to come down to the West Wing. I said, well, great. So he came. One right. guy came down and he ate and he drank and he left. <laughs> <laughs> he got stuck with the bill. So, ladies and gentlemen, oh. listen to me carefully. Well, that's because you invited them to come down. Well, I'm inviting everybody to come down. And listen, I don't mind buying you a drink. I'll give you a kiss. Jeez. I'll give you a hug. I'll give you an appetizer. But if you get a filet mignon, you're going to get a bill. Wow. <laughs>
But also, we had a lot of great singers. Of oh, course, yeah. David DaCosta was there. Great. And the Chad Michaels Quartet. Terrific. With, uh, with Lou Spider on uh, bass. Of yeah. course, you were playing drums. Chad Michaels on the keyboards. And Ronnie DaCosta on, on guitar. It was fabulous. So David DaCosta sang. We had Johnny Stewart came up and sang a couple of songs. Marshawn came up and sang a couple of songs. She was actually very, she's very French, and so it was very beautiful. And uh, Mark Love was there. Martin Mancuso played the saxophone. Monique got up, and of course, Ms. Marilyn B. Oh, Caledonia! In addition to Mark Love. Yeah, <laughs> yes. she was, I love her. Well, she's going to be performing with. And she like got Johnny Edwards. Band. Johnny Edwards was Johnny there too. Edwards as Dean, was there. Dean Martin, and then and then of course they got up and David and he got up and did a duet, uh, and it was great. But you know what happens, yeah. uh, Sandy, in Las Vegas? You get like the, like uh, you get like what's the place where what? Uh, what? Ken Foote's playing? Where's he at? Ken Foote is at the uh, Bertolini's, uh, Siena. Yeah, he's at... Yeah, and authentic every, Italian Trattoria. Right, and tonight, you always get that click that goes there. And then you got the people from the San Gennaro... Uh, the San Gennaro Feast. The, uh, the Tap China, House. China. Tap House, and then you the got Italian the American Club, That's the right. Bootlegger. But you got the same people going to the same places. A lot of the same people, which is great. They move around from place to place, which is wonderful. It is wonderful. Because now they can come over to the West Wing Cigar Lounge on Wednesday right. night. And I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. A lady walked in and said, oh my God. I'm gonna, now, Don also sends right here. Now, Don has very bad asthma. And one day he came, he said, you know, Mike, I love you. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I, I, it's hard for me to go to a place like that. Don, how long did you stay yesterday? Till midnight. Til midnight. One, <laughs> till midnight. Yeah, well, 1.30 by the time And I here's left. a guy who walks around. Well, what do you call those things that you shoot in your in, face? It's an inhaler. That's an, an inhaler. inhaler. So what happens is, and because and, like I said, we put an extra two units. You don't see the smoke. You very seldom smell it. Because you got to remember something, folks. We serve food there. And it's a high, you know, it's it's a high line thing. Because we got filet mignon. We got the, the, the lamb. And it's real. Oh, I'll keep quiet. I was fine. I'm listening. I'm done. What? What? I, I was amazed by the fact the that you couldn't salad. smell the cigars. Uh, I, yeah, you yeah. don't. Because it bothers me, too. And yeah, it's, really it's amazing. And that's you can right. be right there next to him. And you st it, it's well, we have the units that are on the top. That's a yeah. filtration. Like, there's the other places. Yeah. Fabulous, the wind. fabulous. Because Cindy and I worked at a place. I don't want to mention their name, which is a nice place. Another cigar lounge. Our, first of all, our, my eyes were burning. And as singers, as you well know, you know, you can't be around that stuff. You no, know? No, and we've got to no. be very conscious of that because let's face it folks there's secondary smoke that's out there and people you know they, they do that but we're very pleased that we were very lucky so folks come on down friday night's another big night david acosta we got david acosta going to be there and that's we right. and, and we got frank sinatra jr coming down <laughs> he's going to be down there frank i called him on the phone and uh i saw what he he's going to conduct he's going to conduct yeah. the band and we got uh, not money teasing. I mean, <laughs> Don's going really. I really? was waiting for the punchline. <laughs> and I trusted you though. And we got Eddie Kanner and Al Jolson coming down <laughs> yeah. for. And Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Sammy. Did you know, me, 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 you know me, that was the only guy that never made a comeback? <laughs> yeah. Al Jolson never did. It was amazing because he did the jazz singer in 1926, and Larry Parks, who was tremendous. Did it? Did him? And Larry was a very handsome guy. He was good. He looked like me. What are you looking at, Tim? I'll punch you right in your face. <laughs> he was a very handsome. You're not gonna have that opportunity very much longer. Well, I know. Uh, I'm gonna know, miss him. I think oh this soup can is bad. I'm gonna cancel the you, show. You know, now Tim, you're gonna have to come down to the West Wing, though. I mean, you came down last week, and it was great to see you and your. Family. Yeah, and he handed me the bill when he walked out. Yeah, you guys out. were supposed to come last night. What happened? Oh, next week. Okay, next week. good. All right. You so know, the great thing about the Neapolitan chicken. Go ahead, was the vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate ice cream. Brum <laughs> <on the> <laughs> bum chink. <laughs> if you're just tuning in I've now, you're I've listening to Sandy Castella <laughs> Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael here on KLAV. We're here Monday through Fridays, and we'll be right back after a message from all of our wonderful sponsors. If you want to call me, call me. If not, I don't give a 702-731-1230. That's 702-731-1230. Go. Some people go around the world for love. Hi, and welcome back to the Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. That was Mark Love. Wow, that was wonderful, Mark. Yeah, I recorded that last night. Well, that's a song I sang last night. You know, night, Michael was just asking, he said, do you have a band? And he said, yeah, I, and I heard Blood, Sweat, and Tears. He said, no, it's Love, Sweat, and Tears. That's right. <laughs> I sang with Blood, Sweat, and Tears a couple yeah. of songs, but uh, my show's Love, Sweat, and you Tears. You did? Too. When did you do that? Uh, been almost two years now, something like that. Two but, years? Yeah, it was just, just a couple of songs. Right? Yeah. It was fun. Were they there? There was no audience, no. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> no, it was, their, it was their sound check, and someone had arranged for me to sing. He told the manager that I 
sing exactly like David Clayton Thomas, and he, he said that. I've never heard anybody could do that. Oh my before. God. Yeah. So Marvelous. That's great. So, um, where are you performing right now? Mostly Saturdays, uh, I end up with uh, Pia Zadora and the Frank Sinatra band at Piero's. Uh, used to be with Steve Rossi, and we're all going to his funeral tomorrow. We're going to miss that Yes, guy. I know. I know. And I was just, uh, you know, on Facebook yesterday, there was a, a lot of things. Uh, Dave uh, Bancroft is putting together a whole collection of photos and things like that. So if anybody yeah, has photos in, of yeah. Steve, yes, uh, send them to Dave Bancroft. Uh, he's on Facebook. And he's going to put together a whole on a collage and about his life. And yeah, that's so sad. I, I was I was fortunate to be at his 82nd birthday about a month ago, yeah. his last birthday. And Marty Allen was there with him for the last time. And I got to see some of his final performances. You all got to go. We all got to go. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. trying to say? But he was very blessed because he went fast and the so suffering many like that. Love it. It's sad. You know what I mean? Me, I'm going to live to 105. <laughs> anyway, I've become friends with Rich Little. And uh, he and I, he's going to do a show with me. Most of my income comes from uh, retirement homes and such, and I'm putting together three of these corporate re uh, retirement homes, and Rich Little's going to do a show with me that's oh, in that's August, right. and they're all excited about that. I oh, am too. good. It's oh, going to be fun. Well, we'll have to bring him on the show with you. That would be great. <laughs> to talk yeah. about I was, that. I was thinking about great. asking him. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, I'm sure he'd like to do that. Yeah. yeah He's been on sure. the show before a long time ago. Yes. Yes, we have two callers here. We've got Nan from White yeah. House Black Market. Hi, Nan. How are you? Good, Sandy. How are you, Chef Michael? Hello, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and who else is on the phone? We've also got um, Melissa from the Jockey Club. Is Melissa? Hi, how are you? Hey, Good, Melissa how you doing? from the Jockey Club. Good, how are you, Melissa? It's about time you called uh, us on here on the air. And I think he promised you, and I didn't want to break that. Yeah, you so. never break a prinky promise because that's a bad <laughs> thing to do to make a prinky oh. promise. <laughs> <laughs> what? what did I say? I'm glad you reset that. <laughs> Take a picky uh, did promise. Did you just X that out? <laughs> Beep, no. Please. So yes, <laughs> we're glad that you called, and uh, we got some yeah. great things. You know, you did uh, both. Well, guess what? Uh, the the black the black and white market, right? The black and white market. White House black the white market. Ha white yes. House black market. You know. So yeah, in fact, Nan's going to be uh, putting on a fashion show. Actually, the White House black market, and she's going to be putting this show on at our next WEMA event, which is July 19th. And uh, tell us what you're going to have for us, Nan. So we're going to have um, different ladies from Weba, and they'll be trying on the newest collection, so it'll be kind of like a little informal. Okay. And um, then the following Saturday is going to be um, the actual shopping uh, event that we're going to have. Shop so for Weba. Mm-hmm, for Weba. Yes. Are you going to have models? Of course we are. Well, it's funny you should say that because Tim Bowman's a fighter, and he said, Mike, I love wearing women's underwear. <laughs> And I was wondering okay, if I can model. This is not an underwear <laughs> store. Oh, okay, not, oh. it is not. Well, Tim, I'm so sorry. Okay. You're out of luck. We'll let, you, we'll let you pick them. How's that? Oh no! Uh, no, 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 no! We will not, Nan. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Nan. I'm out of luck. But you know, I'm glad that you called on the line because the other girl from the Jockey Club, we work together, and she's wonderful. And I got to say this real quick. You know, if you call the number, because we have one of our advertisers, we got 90,000 listeners. You ain't gonna believe it. it's not one person called. Does Melissa know the number? Melissa, you know the number? I did. I'm the number you gave me, yeah. What is it? So, 702-731-1230. Oh, no, no, not no, that no. one. Hold on. Hold on, black and white. The other one. <laughs> Melissa. Melissa. Well, you know what? They can call, uh, the, you can, they can call you at 702-731-1230, and I'll definitely get the message. Or they can call me at 702-724-7167 between the hours of 1030 and 330 today, and I'll make sure they get... Uh, on the schedule to come down and tour and get their complimentary vacation package. It's pretty awesome. It's incredible because, like I said, just for taking the tour, Tim, they get two round-trip tickets anywhere they want to go and accommodations just for taking the tour. That's right. And Absolutely. we got 90,000 listeners. They said, well, only one person called. I couldn't believe it. But then again, maybe our demographics is a little bit different. But anyway, we gave it a shot for Richard Bracken. We love you. We thank you for calling. I'm not going to yeah. give you show tickets because I get the show tickets from you. <laughs> but I love you, you and I thank you. And I'll see you about 11, about 10, quarter to 11. I, you know, i got a big gang of people i got a train yeah. today so thank you so much for calling and i'll turn this I over to sandy castell in the black and white all right thanks sandy thanks michael bye-bye Bye, thank sweetheart. you melissa uh, hi nan hi sandy so listen we missed we missed you last night where were you I and know. your husband you know unfortunately my husband is flying a lot with the new companies together oh, okay. and i need to go out by myself so i have to kind of make sure that I'm sitting with you, I guess. I'm yes, of like, course. Yeah. You would be sitting with our gang. You That's know? right. We, we would have put you right you at our table. Yes. Is she, is she, you're, not, you're from New York, right? 
Yes. And and of what's course. your what's your what's your nationality again? I'm I'm everything. Remember we just talked about this: Sicilian, Calabrese, Napolitan, and a little bit of French. They're all because uh, I got a very Italian. I got a very good friend of mine named Don Usherson, a very nice man. He's 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 a part-time rabbi and a priest. <laughs> Why I don't know. He said, Mike, I want the best of both worlds. Whoa. He said, because I want to make sure I'm somewhere when I go. <laughs> Listen, yeah, there you go. Nan, thanks a lot for uh, calling in, and I know we're going to be doing a lot coming up. We've also got that event uh, September 27th out at Smith's Food and Drug, which is going to be the Meatball Fest. Yeah, yes, I can't wait to roll meatballs. we're going to have a fashion show there. And we've got an event this weekend I want to make sure you and your listeners come to. It's 20 to 50% off. Just okay. scratch off a card. Come on in, and it's a surprise for everybody. Everybody's right. a winner. Now, this is the one at Fashion Show Mall, just right. so everybody Correct. knows. At Fashion Show Mall. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's this weekend, 20 to 50% off. And that plug mm -hmm. costs you 200 now. I know, so Nan. Yeah. Come to make sure you bring me <laughs> well, a check. Well, listen, thank you for calling, and I'll be talking to you tomorrow, okay? Yeah, very good. Thanks. Thank Thanks, you. Nan. We okay. love you. We've got another Hi. caller, Tim. Larry? Flurry. Oh, Flurry. Hi, Flurry. How are you? Hey, oh boy, it's so good to hear you guys sounding good, and uh, I have an apology to make and, and a uh, little uh, bit of bad news. Oh, no. On my birthday, June 12th, I was supposed to come by, right? Yes. Got the bad news that little Jimmy Scott passed. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we were doing uh, an album. I had written an album for him, uh -huh. and... Uh, we were going to do it, so now it's going to turn into a tribute thing. Oh, okay. And really, since he passed on my birthday, that's like an omen almost, you know? Well, and, so, so you now know, you're going to make it a tribute album to him? Yeah, yeah, we're going to do a tribute, so I'll be telling you more about it. But anyway, on the good side, I'd like to get a, uh, come in and get those airline tickets. I'll come to the uh, deal next Monday, so can you put me down? Well, what you need to do is you need to make that phone call. Seven, you got to call 702. Yeah, I called, him. I called it and left a message already. Oh, okay. Right, right give great. them that phone call and they'll be glad to tell you what's going on and, uh, you know, some restrictions apply. You got to be Italian, you got to be six foot, all <laughs> kinds of <laughs> weird kind of stuff. But anyway... You know, uh, speaking of Italian, speaking of Italian, <laughs> my wife and I went to see the uh, Jersey Boys movie. Yes, right? how was it? Oh, everybody was applauding like it was a live show. People <laughs> loved that Oh, movie. that's so great. Well, it was great. You well, know, our friends, our friends uh, Gil and Kathy Cohn went to see it, too. Yes, it was it. great. Flurry, let me tell you something. Sandy and I got a phone call last week from Al Sharpton. Uh -huh. And we know that you're with the Ink Spots. And we, Sandy and I just bought into a club, a supper club. You know, it's called the West Wing Cigar Lounge. And, I, and we've been saying, hey, Flurry's going to come on the radio show That's and right. uh, all this kind of... Now, you know how much I joke with everybody because I'm like the Don Rickles of radio. I just have a lot of fun. Don Ricoletti. Don Ricoletti. I just have a lot of fun. You know what I mean? And I'm losing Tim Bowman. I'm losing I'm losing him because I play off of him. And, and, you know, and he said to me, every time I'll say something, I'll say, oh, what do you mean by that, boy? You know, he said, I like the way you depict me as a 1970 black guy. And this guy, this kid is a wonderful guy. We love him. I'm just like this. I feel so bad that he's leaving the radio station. But he's moving on to other things. He's going to set a sex change and a whole bunch of stuff. He's writing, <laughs> he's writing a book. That should be interesting. So on here's the, the uh, thing, Flurry. <laughs> Al said to me, Mike, what the hell's going on with Flurry? Why doesn't he want to come down That's and right. sing? I said, look, no, Flurry, no, said, is this no, like a prejudice no. thing? You, does he got to be a dying? <laughs> no, no. You know what? You know what happened? What? I, well, I was going to come down, and then I got the bad news about yeah. Jimmy. And then uh, I, I get up and I do some uh, funny work at 4 in the morning. I do some... Uh, funny work. Well, funny work? I, I, okay, let's like, drop it right there. clarify that, Flurry. <laughs> And I'm Tim just said, well, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say I, I carry a badge and a gun when I'm not doing my uh, ink spot bit. Ah, so I well, see. Well, we love you, Flurry. I want you to come so down. Sometime, sometime uh. around 7, I get sleepy. Uh, sleepy. All right, well, sleepy well, time, gal. Flurry, I'm sorry to cut you off, but, you know, we've got uh, we've got to go for a break right here. And uh, we definitely want you to come down. So hopefully you can there. come next Wednesday, I'll okay? I'll be there. All right. Sing it, because cool. I'm cooking Thank a special you, meal for you. Chitlin's okay. Parmesan. <laughs> I don't eat pork. You know I don't eat pork. Well, then we'll have uh, collard greens It'll be with, with uh, beef. marinara yeah. sauce. Anyway, <laughs> if you're just tuning in now, you're listening to the Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael here on <laughs> KLAV. <laughs> yeah. And we'll be right back yeah. after a message from our sponsors. Yeah, keep calling. I love you guys. I hate to see you leave, Tim, but thank God you're going. Tell me love was too good for you. Tell me you were through with me. 
welcome back to the Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. Yes. You know, Chef, we've got uh, Michelle Roxy Davis here, and uh, she's got her show called 702 Rocks Show. Hey, everyone. Thanks for having me on the show, oh, Chef Michael. She is so beautiful. She's adorable, and I remember she's the first. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Stop hey, hey, it, hey! Darling. The guy got to carry a gun. Her boy Zimmy's right up. He's got a hand on the leg. He's got a Jesus. Got I remember. Yeah, but he um, doesn't know she's gorgeous. Forget it. Hey, yeah, hey. He knows she's gorgeous. The first time I met her was uh, when I, I think when I went on one of your shows that you were doing with on the stage media on stage in Vegas. On stage in Vegas. With that's Big right. Al. Mm-hmm. That's oh Big Al. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, it was great. I said to her, I said, oh, my gosh, you're fabulous. You know, what do you do? What else do you do? Anyway, she does a lot of things. She has uh, an, ar- an article that she does every, what do you do this, every month? Yeah, it's every season. They have them. Every uh, season? Yeah, quarterly for My Vegas In magazine. In My Vegas, mm-hmm. yes, yeah. This yeah, Mark is Schaefer nice is an awesome guy, very talented. He al- also is a musician. So he understands. Yes. About artists. And talent. <laughs> and and talent. Uh, I told him, I said, I wanted to write... And your magazine had been such a long time for me to try and get in touch with him because he's a busy guy. He's always traveling. And uh, finally, when I, when I got the chance to meet with him, I said, let me uh, write about something in your magazine. He's like, what do you want to write about? I said, what about fashion? He's like, fashion. Okay, um, what, what do you have in mind? I said, well, I got a little radio show. You should uh, let me promote your magazine and vice versa. He's like, all right, we'll give it a try. And and I know you like looking at the article because the Chippendales <laughs> they're all gay little guys. articles well, guys. right next door. Very I mean, good looking. Look yeah, at these you know. Guys. Let's see them guys. I know, Tim. Where they are you? Look in like there? the guys sitting here in the uh, in, in the guys, studio right now. All belong to the you know? Association. I mean, I'm sure if all you guys <laughs> took off your shirts, you'd look like that, right? I mean, yeah. I'm very flattered to write <laughs> write an article right next to Chippendales. That's, yes, that's yes. that we can see, but not the flip side of her. Picture. No, that's, that's right. That's right. But yeah, also, that's private. That's naked. It's nude stuff. No, it's in a bikini. <laughs> you the guys, Zed card is in a bikini. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're also you're also featured on this uh, video here with Hypnosis Unleashed. This is the best yeah. of. It's actually I per- about that I bit. perform weekly with Kevin Lapine at Hypnosis Unleashed. It's in the Hooters uh, Casino and Hotel, and uh, Hypnosis Unleashed is is awesome. I'm an assistant. I kind of just. Make, sh- of a make sure, no, I wish sometimes, <laughs> but I just make sure that the people stay hypnotized and they don't run around. I've had some, some drunk people I really <laughs> needed to babysit. And How can so you tell if they're really, really sure hypnotized, though? Hypnotized. You know, sometimes you see people fall in and out of sleep, uh-huh. and uh, I, I kind of wonder, is, is that from... Uh, drinking too much. Maybe they've been staying up late, or maybe they're having. A, they're they're coming from overseas and they're trying to, you know, the time get zone adjusted get adjusted. So yeah. last yeah, week we fun. had the mentalist over here, Jerry McCambridge. Yes, he, he was, was great. on my show out actually last Friday also. And he talked to Sandy. I don't know what the hell he said to her. When I woke up the next morning, all my credit cards were gone. <laughs> Have you seen him perform? I'm serious. I yeah, said, but they Sandy, were where, limit, so it didn't help where's me. my credit card, Sandy? <laughs> and she says, you gave them to me. I said, no, I didn't. She says, yes, you did. I went, yeah, I did. I said, I'm going to kill that kid when I see him. So, <laughs> Chef Michael, have you seen Jerry perform at the V Theater? You know, I, I, I had the pleasure of seeing everybody, and yeah. it was really great. And they're all good. They're yeah. all very good, which is, is really good. I want to know when you saw them, because you didn't see them with me. Well, this is before I met you, Sam. <laughs> really? This is, before, this is when I was a oh. single man, we free, with a pocket anywhere. full of money. Yeah, we, we never can. go out anywhere. We're always Now working. i got a chain around my, my <laughs> neck, and I'm broke. Well, I would think Sandy would have her own show performing. <laughs> she and is, and she's going to do the Sandy Castell show very soon. Yeah, that's what very I told soon. I met him a year and a half ago. We were Live on stage. On yeah, yeah. And she's going to do it. Full audience. You know what? I could, but I got to roll meatballs for the show. Oh, I got to no, produce right. the show. And I do the windows in the house. Clean. See, people don't really know what I really do. You don't know what I do. <laughs> That's tough stuff, rolling meatballs. I'm I bought a beautiful you. Harley right. Davidson, and I, I'm lucky to drive it you five do. minutes once a week. And she says, where are you going? How long are you going to be? I said, forget it. I ain't going. Well, you need to put her on the back of the motorcycle won't and go. go for a ride. I did it. She, I, I, no kidding. Two blocks. She says, turn around take me home. What about one of those sidecars that you can kind of I have one of those sidecars. I unhooked cool it and I left glasses. her on Boulder Highway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kid you. Wear an aviator jacket. He unhooked it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you also, you also do something with social media. You, ha- you talk about this on your program, uh, branding your company. Yeah, I, re- I really feel that social media nowadays can take your business to the next level. And, you know, writing for My Vegas, having a radio show, that, that's all great. But unless you tie it in with social media... I really think that's that's the key. Yeah, to really if you, get if to you the don't do level. the social media, nobody so. knows what you're doing. 
doesn't matter if it's <laughs> Foursquare or Twitter or Facebook. YouTube is really in. Vine is really in. Um, See, you just named two that I don't know about. Mm -hmm. Foursquare and Vine. I don't know about those two. Foursquare is when you check in at somewhere and it automatically goes to your Facebook and Twitter. So if I, I checked in at KLAV. Oh. Um, and Vine is just a simple, easy way to make fun <laughs> videos for people to see what you're doing. And, you know, everyone is different. So every single social media app is going to have different people and different followers for different reasons so whether it's on Instagram and you're putting a retro picture or you're on Foursquare and you're saying I'm at KLAV or um, you know it could be anything it really doing all of it makes sense and a lot of people are like why are you posting where you're at what are you you know what is that making sense well it's making sense because I'm branding That's I'm right. promoting a lot of products I'm promoting a lot of deals a lot of specials mm -hmm. I'm saying all the places I'm going and a lot of people, when they come to Vegas, they want to know where to go. They want to know where the locals are going, too. Yes. That's right. But no. if you Cigar don't lunch. have the time there you go. to do this yourself, yeah. That's it. you can also hire companies to do this for you. Yeah, there's a lot of companies out there, New Media Vegas, Jeannie Huff and Dwayne Forkner. They're amazing people. And uh, what they do, basically, is during my show, whatever I say, whatever my guests say, they post on my social media. But they do it without Automatically. you having to send it to them and nope. tell them to do it. See, that's one of the things that I've been having a challenge with. I mean, because we've got so many things that we're doing throughout the yeah. day. We're doing the show. We go from here. We go over. We've got meetings. Uh, Michael's got to go back. He's doing something. He's training people. And then at night, we're over at the uh, West Wing Cigar Lounge. And it's like, when do you get time to do all this stuff? Yeah, you definitely need to have a team on yeah. the side that's listening yeah. to everything you're saying and posting it and one, to your And Facebook a team that's page. not waiting for you to give them all the information to do right. it. This no, they're, way, they're, they're doing it right. Right as you're it. saying it. I so if it. I say cigar, they're going to post a cigar it, yeah. on my Facebook page. Listen, uh, Tim, do we have another caller? Who is it? Lady in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, what's your name, lady in the bathroom? Hi. Listen, this is Laura Johnson, and I'm, I'm upset with Michael. That's Chef Michael. I'll come out of the bathroom when I'm done, sweetheart. <laughs> Listen, it's the only place I can get ahead. And you embarrass me uh. by telling me to come out of the bathroom. All the time, honey. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I, I, I really, but I, I thought you moved to to uh, California and you left your apartment to your nephew Charlie. And I've been saying, Charlie, get out of the bathroom. <laughs> so you guys must have a oh, safe there. You got okay. your kitchen in there. You must be doing something. Just a second. I think Johnny Short's knocking on my door. <laughs> I wish you could keep him away from. Me. <laughs> hey, Johnny Short hey, and Johnny, Laura Johnson. Johnny, don't you have got a, a life? Radio. You have a great radio show, and I have a, a, a radio in here, and I listen to you every day. Sandy Castell and friends and Chef Michael. But that Johnny Stewart guy, he's got to go. <laughs> yeah, well, he's thank a, you, Laura Johnson, thank you, for calling Laura, in. We really you, appreciate Laura, it. Thank you, Laura, and uh, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, yeah, you're right about Johnny Stewart. He's the only guy that makes coffee nervous. But be careful in the bathroom. You never know what will happen. <laughs> be careful. Thank you, Laura, you for calling know. in. We're going to give you two tickets to see Tim Bowen after he gets knocked out on the fifth. <laughs> Oh, oh. Right. or knock the other guy out. Oh, one of the other. my gosh. I'm having fun. Have a great day. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Well, listen, Roxy, tell us where people can find out more about you besides the magazine, mm -hmm. besides your radio show. And your radio show is? 702 Rocks. There you go. Yeah. And so it also online? 702rocks.com, um, but I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Foursquare, Vine, YouTube, so if they just Google you, they're going to find you everywhere. Yeah. yeah. You can yes, find me at Smith's <laughs> every day in so, aisle so, five. So let me ask We you, were there last night. Did you, you see our picture? I think I did, actually. And then I was like, wait, I'm going on that show tomorrow. Hey. That's right. <laughs> what a coincidence. So do you sing? I do. Oh, see? Let, let's hear, let's <laughs> hear a, a couple to tunes. Okay. Let's hear a newt. I brought a demo. Oh, well, you did? Gee, you well, I wish well, we you know. Well, Mark it. Love, well, he, you know, right. and well, you Sandy. Your demo, then we'll play it coming okay. back in from the break. All right. Um, so where where do you sing? Um, you know, I just, I write music. I produce beats. I do it in my home. Produce and, uh, beats? Yeah. I what eat do you, beats. What, what program do you You eat beats? Um, mm. I use Yamaha. I use a couple garage bands. And, mm. um, you know, I have a mixer. It's a lot of fun. I just kind of put some beats together, write some melodies. Well, what you need to do is come studio. down to the t Friday night, tomorrow night. Oh, tell us, okay. I, I, I'd be busy eating your meatballs. <laughs> well, beside the meatballs, the band is phenomenal. I'm sure Mark would be phenomenal. Mark I was. Mark, Mark was is, there last yes, night. Yes. So if you, anytime you want to come Friday? down, come down. Okay. 
I'm telling you, the, the entertainment is spectacular. Love you get up. And Not what time? Like, well, the show starts at uh, 8, 8 o'clock. o'clock. Perfect, because my show ends at 5 o'clock. So. There you go. Plenty there of time. Perfect. So we'll see you tomorrow at the West Wing Cigar Lounge. And everybody hey. wants to see her come on down and pay $45 at the door. <laughs> And she'll or, show you that or picture. No, that, just pay sixteen ninety five, and you can have one of Chef Michael's specialties. Yes. that is a it's it's a pasta dish plus it's a meat dish, right? The chicken dish. Right, and it goes and all the money, folks. I want you to understand, goes to the old folks association, which is me, <laughs> and because uh, I'm an old guy, and it's got to go to my uh, you know. Thing. That's right. If you're just tuning in now, you're listening to Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. We're going to be right back after a message from our sponsors, and then you're going to hear a song by Roxy Davis. Yeah, she's great, everybody. You wait, lady. Get out of that bathroom and listen to Roxy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Beyond the sea, he's there waiting for me. Hi, and welcome back to the Sandy Castell and Friends Variety Show with Chef Michael. That is Michelle Roxy Davis. <laughs> now, did you just pick up the name Roxy? When did that come you, you know, um, when I started writing for Vegas Rocks magazine, I was trying to come up with a name because I'd be writing about fashion. And I thought, you know, since rock and roll and fashion go hand in hand, I thought, what, what about the name Roxy? That's right. So it kind of just That's fell cool. in. That's cool. I like that. And then when I came up with the concept 702 Rocks, I figured instead of R-O-C-K-S, let's just make it R-O-X because it yeah. falls in the, into yeah. place. You know, we've got another caller. It's Dr. Perry. Hi, Dr. Perry. How are you? Hello, Sandy. I'm thank, doing good. Thank you for joining us last night Want at the West Wing Cigar Lounge. Last night was fantastic. And, thank you. Uh, I had a question for Chef Michael. Okay. Okay. He is always singing. He's always playing the instruments. Does he sing while he's cooking? Yes, he does. he does. <laughs> Does he have specific songs? Yes, I do. I sing in the shower till the water gets cold, and then I get out. No, while you're cooking. While oh, you're I, cooking. Yeah, I sing uh, Farmer in the Dell, <laughs> and uh, your lips tell me no, no, but there's wee wee in your eye. It's a beautiful song, uh, and, I, and I'm, I'm going to cut it on my basement. I hope it's a big seller someday. No, I sing all the kind of songs. No, sing, you know. the, sing one of the songs you sang. You told me when you uh, were working with the Spilatro Brothers. Brothers. Di Gelu Di Armo di vie tutta vita mia, le gighe luca budia. What does that mean? It means I lost my pencil case and I can't find it. <laughs> it's yellow in color. It's a, it's a it Neapolitan so song. It's so nice. <laughs> but Bella's nice. Bella di voglio tanto bene, come tu via casta ringonida. It means I lost the bricks of my, uh, back to Naples. Because when, when, when it's all said and done, Sandy, I'm going to hop a plane with you. I'm going back to Naples, Italy. I want to step on the grape because I miss my feet used to be purple. Now they're the normal color. <laughs> and uh, I'm scared. Of it. Mark, look at Mark Love. I hope you ate breakfast because I'm not buying you no, breakfast. Well, thank you, Dr. Breakfast. Perry, for thank again, you, for you, you and Diana joining us last night. We really appreciate oh, it. And we, you guys hung out. Here. That was great. Yeah, you hung out all night last night. That was great. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Dr. Perry. Uh, you know, Mark. Again, again. Now, tell us. I know that you do a, you do a lot of things for the senior citizens. You go out and sing for them. Oh, that's so rewarding. It, it's just amazing. I, I introduce every show. My name is Love Living My Dream Here in Heaven. Thank you for joining me. Heaven and on it, Earth. Yes, without a doubt. Singing and dancing every day and lifting hearts, which I've done all of my life as a performer, 52 years. Uh, I see magic and miracles all the time. Uh, I don't know if I ever told you the one about the... Uh, the uh, was a, They were doing uh, the, the renewal of vows for all of these couples at one place, and they were celebrating 50 and 60 and 70 years mm -hmm. of marriage. And I've got the one woman that's celebrating her 70th anniversary watching me every move I make, even when her 90-some-year-old husband is singing her a song that he's written. Uh -huh. He's been married to her for 70 years. Oh, my gosh. He's between her and me. So she's leaning either side of him to see what I'm doing. Well, at the end of the show, I just rung out. We all cried. It was just an amazing uh, situation. Well, her son come running up to me. He's like 50, 55. He's got tears in his eyes. He said, Mark, you're not going to believe this. I just rolled my mother back to her room, and she said, son, come over here. You've grown to be such a handsome man. And he's crying. He says, she hasn't been able to speak a word for over three years. <gasps> oh, my gosh. So oh that's what gosh. music does for you. The I, get chills. I get chills. I get chills. 
Well, you know, you know, the thing about performers is we don't realize how many lives we touch. And, and Roxy, this is the same way with you. You're a performer. You're talented. Uh, Don Usherson, you know, I know you didn't get a chance to say much of anything today. But, you know, you, you were a columnist and you had your own TV show. And, you know, any time that you, you do something with these, you know, you, you touch people's lives, you know, as a performer and as an artist. Touches their wallet, too. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's done. true. Everything that you said is true, and it's very <laughs> yeah. important. That's why I enjoyed writing about them because those of us who don't have the talent right. write <laughs> or, or, or teach. Well, you have a different kind of talent, and you know what? I'm so sorry we've got to go. Uh, Michelle Davis. I just want to say, Roxy also is. Uh, she's a promoter, but also she has this thing at the Pole Fitness Studio, and they've got all these different classes. And we're going to be talking to her more about that when she comes back on next week to talk about staying fit and fabulous forever. Okay, Roxy. Absolutely. Okay, so thank you to all our guests today, Gene Woods, uh, my, Mark Love, thank and you so Don much. Usherson, Chef Michael as always, and Roxy, Michelle Roxy Davis, and we will be back tomorrow. It's tomorrow Friday already? Tomorrow's Friday. Oh my gosh, we'll see you tomorrow Friday morning here on KLIV at 9 a.m. Please join us, and please remember to call in 702-731-1230 so you can ask Chef Michael about his recipes. Yeah, and I'll tell you all about Mark Love, how much he eats. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Woo! You might